Hey guys, so it's not really your traditional video, but I just thought I'd actually film myself here in the mountains. So it's a beautiful day. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning, just starting to get the sun shining in this beautiful 10,000 feet elevation. As you guys can see, there's all these random mushrooms all over the floor. But what I'm really looking for here is the King Bolete. And we're going to go on this little adventure. We're going to go hunting for Boletes. Right now, and I haven't really found any, but we're definitely going to find some. We just saw some rainfall. It's going to be a great hike. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. So, hey guys, I think I'm coming across a nice little patch of bolites here. So check this guy out. Also, check out that guy. So, just going to kind of dig a little underneath it. Now, bolites are generally kind of heavy. There are a few different types. So for me to fully identify this, I do need to kind of pluck it out of the ground here first. Ooh, it's kind of being tough. Oh, so this one's actually a scabbard, as you guys can see. So the way that I know it's a scabbard and not a king bolete is... Man, it's a little bit shiny, but you can kind of see these little scales right there. Let me see if I could get some shade. So as you can see, kind of see these little scabbard-like things right, right there, as you can see right there. So this is not what we're looking for. These do kind of give you some indigestion, so it's unfortunate. Hopefully I find what I'm looking for. Hey guys, so uh, right now I'm actually in the forest. And I'm coming across a king bolete, which is a choice of mushroom. Now, this is what it looks like in nature. It just looks like literally a hamburger bun. So I'm just going to go over here, dig a little bit along the sides. And then now I'm just going to very lightly pull on it. Oh boy, and look at that, you guys. So the way that you know it's a king bullet is that on the top, it's going to look bronze. It's going to look almost like a brioche bun. Underneath, you're going to see white pores. So there's no gills. And this is also a very fresh one. I'm sure there's almost no bugs to it. It just looks very, very clean. So yeah, king bullet, you guys. All the way in Colorado in 10,000 feet elevation. So here we go, you guys. We got bolete number three. I'm just gonna go ahead, brush aside some of this. Now, as you guys can see, it looks just like a brioche bun. Now wiggle a little bit. And there we go, bolete number three. Wow, you guys, I'm having a pretty great day. Uh, it's only been 20 minutes within my hike. We just saw quite a bit of rain. I am already on bolete number four, as you guys can see. So I'm just gonna brush this aside. Oh, nope, not a bolete. As you guys can see, it has gills underneath. Dret, really look like one. All right, fellas, so I just came across my first hawkwing. So it's this little guy right here. So the way that you know it's a hawkwing is first it has these hawkwing-like patterns. Also, when I go ahead and pick it, you can see that underneath it has all of these little teeth-like structures. So this is a hawkwing mushroom for you. And we're going to keep on looking for more. Wow, guys, take a look at these guys. So it's kind of growing off of this dead tree right here. These mushrooms are kind of almost jelly-like. I don't know what they're called, but I do believe that they're edible. I've seen them, I feel like I've seen them before. It almost seems like the stuff that goes in your uh, hot and sour soup in the Chinese restaurants. Uh, maybe it's some sort of like jelly fungus. Not too sure, but I am going to pick these and they're quite all over the place. You just have to find the right dead tree. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on hunting. Hopefully I find some more. All right guys, solid haul right here. Check that out. 
pick all of these. Man, let me go ahead and pick one of these and show you guys what exactly it looks like on the inside. Take a look at that. So it's all jelly. If I had to describe the texture, it's almost like I'm pinching somebody's ear. So yeah, when I get home, first thing I'm gonna do, try and identify this. All right, everybody, so I just got home and uh, we actually went ahead, we cleaned up the mushrooms. So the way that I did this was that I actually got a brush, brushed all of these um, little hairs out. And then just to make sure that there aren't any bugs, I got a knife and I went ahead and trimmed the edges right here. So as you guys can see, that's how I'm preparing these ones. With the um, bolites, so this is probably my um, nicest one right here. Now it really looks like a hamburger bun. So you can see the top, nice and brown. Underneath it's like white and spongy. So this one actually has a little bit of bug holes. So hopefully when I do cut it in half, uh, there's not too many bugs. And if there are, I can just scrape them out hopefully. So the way that I actually go about cleaning these ones is I get this nice little peeler right here and then I go ahead and just run the peeler down to make sure I get all the dirt off of it. Now these, uh, which I actually found out are woodier mushrooms, which is exactly what they use in the um, Chinese restaurants in the hot and sour. But you know, I'm assuming they're probably using a lower quality one. But uh, these are jelly mushrooms, woodier mushrooms, black fungus, whatever you want to call it. These ones I really just um, actually soaked in a water bucket and um, just kind of made sure all the debris was out of it and then dried them up a little bit. Now, sometimes you get these hard little pieces of bark. So I went ahead, trimmed every single one of them off as you guys can see. So um, now they're all pretty clean, except this little bit right there. So um, these ones, you know, they're not really flavorful. They literally taste like nothing, but people eat it for the health benefits and the uh, texture. So uh, hopefully the next part, you know, I could go ahead and cook some of these. Go ahead and start by cutting the king bully. Right now I do have some gloves on because as you guys saw, there were some wormholes. So it might get a little bit gross. I'm just gonna start by cutting it in half. I'm just kind of assessing the situation. So that's what it looks like inside. Now I do kind of see some uh, areas where it was kind of eaten into, and I want to see if I can maybe dig out some bugs here. So maybe they're hiding a little bit, so I might actually have to cut it a little bit smaller. But let's just go ahead, separate the bottom from the tops. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead, cut that in half, double check everything, make sure there's nothing weird in there. And then now I guess, you know, I'm not really seeing any bugs, so I could go ahead and take my gloves off. Just cut them into nice medium-sized strips. So the cool thing about these mushrooms is that there are these gills and they're very, very meaty. So they're extremely firm. And um, these are actually the pores. I, I just call them gills, but what I mean is pores right there. So that's kind of the structure right there. They do look like tiny little um, hairbrushes. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut the rest of this. Ooh, so yeah, right there, we do see some uh, bugs eating into it. So we don't wanna eat that part. But the rest of it looks okay. So now we'll do the same thing right here. Separate that. And then we'll just cut it. Yeah, these parts look pretty good. And then right here, we'll go ahead, we'll cut the body. So this actually, you know, this side I might actually just toss. You know, this still looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up.
All right, guys, so this is the end result. I went ahead and cooked one of the porcinis. So this is kind of what it looked like when it was raw. So as you guys can see, that's like the little gill structure right there. The top is kind of like uh, purplish, like dark brown, like almost like a bronze color. So I went ahead, you know, I cooked this with uh, green onions, garlic, um, white wine, a little bit of chicken stock, uh, salt and pepper. So we'll go ahead and try one of these out. Now you guys can see the pores right there. So when I did cook these, they actually expanded a little bit. So take a look at that. Now I actually wanted to film this for you guys, but I didn't really have good lighting to actually film the cooking part. So unfortunately I couldn't do that. Maybe when I invest in um, better equipment, I could do that for you guys. So we'll just go ahead. Eat one, see how it tastes. I will say it's really, really, um, it's really chewy. So it's almost like it has a meaty like texture. As far as flavor goes, it's pretty umami, but you know, there's nothing crazy going on here. But I do know that you know, porcinis, they can get pretty expensive. They're like $25 or so fresh if you do try to buy them. Or uh, King Bolit's porcinis, uh, people use that word interchangeably. So, you know, pretty good. Um, I would definitely think that this would be sought, out, sought after by uh, vegans just because of the meaty texture. So let's just go ahead and try another one. This one has a little bit more of that pour to it. Mmm, yeah, so that one is definitely a little bit more meaty just because it had a little bit more to pour. So definitely good. Hope you guys enjoyed this entire little um, catch and cook series.